Welcome to the Waimakariri River. My name's Courtney, I'm a park ranger for Environment Canterbury and I just want to let you know a few things about this space before you come out and enjoy it. The braided river systems in Canterbury are really unique and they're home to a whole range of birds and unfortunately most of those birds are threatened or some species are even critically endangered. There's threatened species out here like the black fronted terns, the ribals, the doctorals, and recently, unfortunately, our black billed gull has been downgraded to nationally endangered. So it makes it a really unique and fragile habitat. Most of our braided river bird species nest between September-ish to January. So it is over the summer months when the river's got its highest usage level from the public. That's when we'll start actively putting out signs and monitoring the birds at that stage and engaging different strategies to look after them. Wherever there's bare gravel, there's birds nesting. And these birds really make an effort to, to kind of hide on these gravel beds. So really, wherever you get gravel on the riverbeds, there is more than likely a rare bird nesting in there. When you're out on the river, birds, the birds all have different warning signs to let you know if you're doing something to disturb them. Some bird species all, they'll dive bomb the car and make loud noises and let you know that you're in their space. Some birds actually get up and run away from their nest. You might just spot a little, a little bird running away from you and that's a distraction technique to get you away from its nest. But most commonly, that's the loud noises and the swooping. Occasionally we put concrete blocks out or other fencing or some sort of barriers where we know where the birds are nesting. It's frequently accessed by vehicles, four-wheel drives, motorbikes. People unintentionally can go into those areas and cause quite a lot of harm to those birds. They only have to be off their nest for a matter of minutes for the damage to be done and the chicks to die and the eggs. Any blocks or fencing that we put out to look after the birds and just divert vehicles away from them is only out for the breeding season. We take it away as soon as we can, usually around January. We, we still try to cause minimal disruption to people's summers. We still want people to have access to swimming holes and fishing spots and river access. It's quite important to be aware that these areas aren't just bare landscapes with nothing there, but, but actually very fragile and very rare habitats with some of the world's rarest birds. All we need to do is just recognise the signs, take the time to read the information if we put any out there. If we just keep our dogs on leads around nesting bird colonies and avoid driving vehicles in the river in those spots, it, that's all it takes to give these birds a helping hand. Thank you for taking the time to familiarise yourself with our local braided river birds. We hope we can still all enjoy the river but just take the time to appreciate our fragile local inhabitants.